The third concept of lesson three, a darsu thalith, is ismu tafdil. Ismu tafdil. <clears throat> so, what is exactly ismu tafdil? It translates as comparative or superlative noun. Comparative or superlative noun. What is a comparative and a superlative noun? Like, for instance, when we compare things, so we'll say that. Uh, we can say that tea is better than coffee. Tea is better. So the word better is comparative. You're comparing two things. Better than, such and such. And superlative is if, you, if you're comparing three or more things. Okay? So you can say, for instance, juice is the best drink. Juice. Orange juice is the best drink. Or water is the best drink. Right? Comparative, superlative. Um, in the Arabic language, you use the exact same word. The exact same word, but based on the context and the way it's used, it can be comparative or superlative. You'll understand it. So let's see how you create the ismu tafdil. Again, you use the ismu tafdil for comparative and superlative. You just change the way it's the way it's um, constructed in the sentence. So for instance, <coughs> I'm gonna put a bunch of words on the board, right? Words that I already know, most of them, and then we'll find, we'll formulate the ismu tafdil. So the word qareeb, qareebun, qareeb, which is close, the ismu tafdil of it is aqrab. Akrab. Akrabu. Dhamma on the end of it. So what can you tell me about Akrabu? Well, it ends with one Dhamma, so it looks like it's Mamnu mina sarf. Ka'annahu mamnu'un mina sarf. And that is correct. It is Mamnu mina sarf. <coughs> so the ismu tafdeer, we know that it is Mamnu'un mina sarf. Let's put another one. The word, let's take tawil, which we know means tall. Ismu tafdil of it is atwal. Atwalu. Atwalu. Taller or tallest. Closer or closest. Another one. The word sagir becomes asgaru. Asgharu Smaller or smallest Kabir Becomes Akbaru Akbaru Which means bigger or biggest Then we have Nazif Nadif, clean. Andafu. Andafu. So what do you notice? What do you notice? We're starting to realize that there's a set pattern. There's a set pattern with all of these isms. The first letter is a Hamza, is a Hamza. And it has a Fatah, A. The second letter has a Sukun. The second letter is what's actually the first letter here. The third letter has a fata, and it's actually the second letter. Qaf ra, here's the qaf in the ra. And the ba, which was the last letter, became the last letter here as well, with a dhamm on it. Aqrab. Okay. Tawil atwalu. Sagirun asgaru. Kabirun akbaru. Nalifun andafu. And that is the pattern for Mamnu'un min asarf. That is the pattern for Mamnu'un min asarf. Okay, it is exactly as you see it. Alhamdulillah, it's very easy. So now, let's keep going. Let's do a whole bunch of them. Let's do the word Rakhis. Rakhisun. And what Rakhis means? 
sorry. Rachisun cheap. Arhasu. Arhasu. Cheaper or cheapest. Saria. Sariun. Quick. It becomes Asra'u. Asra'u. Now, what if I gave you the word Sari'atun? Rakhisatun? It's going to be the same. Asra'u and Arhasu. Okay? Then, Hakim. Hakim means wise. Rajalun Hakim. Wiser. Ahkam. Or wisest. Ahkamu. Right? Then we have the word Bakhil. This is a new word that we saw in the last concept. Bakhil. Which is a stingy person. May Allah save us from, from that sin and that bad quality. Abakhal. Abakhalu. Stingia. Stingiest. Or cheaper, cheapest. Then we have some other, some, some other examples. Okay. You may see a word that doesn't really look like Nadif, Kabir, Sagir, Tawil. They all have a Ya on the second to last letter, right? For these, these words also follow a pattern. But you'll see words such as, let me make these lines here. You may see a word such as Fadil. Fadil. Fadil is someone that is, that is preferred, Fadil. Rajul al Fadil, someone that has a lot of Fadl. He's a preferred, the preferred person to be, you like to be around him. Fadlun. So the ismu tafdil of it is Afdalu. Afdalu. Okay. Notice that Fadl is not on the wazn of Fa'il. It's not like this. Bakhil. So you call this wazn Fa'il. This is fa'il. It's a different wasn't. But still it has the ismutas, ismu tafdil. Then the word wasi'. Wasi', which means wide. So something is wider, you say it is awsa'. Or widest awsa'. Alim. Someone who's learnt. Alimun. Same was in Fadl, Wasi Alim. A'lamu. A'lamu. Can you hear people saying, Allahu A'lam? Allah is, here wouldn't be more knowledgeable, He is the most knowledgeable. Allahu A'lam. So it all depends on how you use it. Then you may see a word that's a bit weird, like let's say, Hassan. Hassan, which means good. Ismu tafzil is Ahsan. Ahsanu. Just like A'lam. Okay. And lastly, there are some words such as Zaki. Zakiyun, which is smart. Ismu tafzil is Azka. Azka. So what did we change? Well, what happens is that this Ya turned into Alif Maqsura. Azka, the Ya turned into Alif Maqsura. We have Ghani. Ghaniun, rich. Aghna. Aghna. Okay, you can put you can put fatah there if you want. Aghna. Then, Qawiyun. Strong. Qawiyun. Aqwa. Aqwa. Then, Ghabi. Which is kind of like a bad word, but it could be used in a 
in the right context and it's not really like a curse word or anything. A rabiyun, someone is rabi, they're dumb, they're, I say dumb meaning like they're not too smart. Okay. Or you can use the word stupid. Rabiyun, the ismu tafdil is arba. Arba. And last one, taqi. Taqiyun is a pious person. Taqi, a rajulun taqi. He has taqwa. Taqi, which is a very beautiful word to be described as. So the one that is more pious or most pious is atqa. Atqa. Right? Now that wasn't, you need to know it very well. You need to know that wasn't very well. And now what we're going to do. In the next video, we're going to create sentences with them and see how they're used.